from the Sunmark Federal Credit Union Content Studio. This is the Sunmark 360 with Glenn Stacy. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sunmark Content Studio and the Sunmark 360. This Saturday, Sunmark is going to be holding our first of two document shredding days. You can stop by our Latham branch this Saturday, located at 1187 Troy Schenectady Road from 11 until 1 o'clock, for this great opportunity to safely destroy any personal information you have at home, such as old files, financial records, and it's all at no cost to you. So what should you shred might be your next question. Well, how about tax information and returns? Investments and records uh, and statements from your investments? Bank statements, canceled checks, paycheck stubs, ATM receipts, so if you're not organized now, now is the time because Sunday is Earth Day and spring is always a good time to clean out and get organized. Joining me right now is Sheila Sable from Call Sheila, your personal concierge, with some spring tips to help you get organized. Sheila, thanks for joining us Hi, on the Sunmark 360 and in the Sunmark Content Studio. I appreciate it. Sure, thanks for having me. So uh, we have our shred day coming up. People are probably right now frantically going through all their documents, finding out what they need to shred. And while they're doing that, they're finding out, boy, I have a lot of stuff around the house Absolutely. that could really use some cleaning and some spring cleaning and some organization. And that's where you are here with some uh, wonderful tips because you are the expert in organization, right? That's right. And yes, I, I have a bunch of clients that are basically downsizing everything and decluttering and getting organized. And before you can get organized, you have to really kind of pare down the things in your home. So we're looking at office space, decluttering in there, basements, attics. Uh, people giving away clothing, there's all kinds of uh, charitable interaction, and it's a huge undertaking, and people can definitely do it themselves, but each thing you touch, each pile you make, donate, trash, uh, giving it to my kids, giving it to my charity, or whatever it is, each pile you make has three or four additional steps. So you definitely want to try and get some help in doing this, especially around the emotional attachment to things. Right. Oftentimes people can't make a decision. I mean, when I work with my clients, I always tell them no maybe piles because you end up with everything in the maybe <laughs> pile because of the emotional attachment. So it's good to have somebody there to kind of interrupt that thought process and help you get to the part where things are moving out of the house. Yeah, I moved a bunch of times and those were actually the uh, the best times really in my life to get organized because you know when you're at home or you have an apartment, you just kind of hold on to things. But then when you have that choice, do I want to really carry this with me? to the next right. home or the next apartment, or do I just want to get rid of it, you pretty quickly find the things that you have in your apartment or your house that you're right. holding onto for absolutely no reason. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I try to, I try to ask myself, if everything I lost, if everything I owned was lost in a, in a fire, let's say, mm -hmm. what, what would I replace? You know, and that's, that's kind of a good guide to how I approach downsizing myself, and if my clients are open to it, um, that's what we do. So. Yeah, so let's get to, a, you have a couple of tips here, sure. a couple of ways, really small things right. that someone can do to uh, find more space in their home and just uh, get organized. And Absolutely. These are some great little tips, so right. I want to share those with us. Right, and, and everybody has, you know, a million uh, plastic bags, right, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever, whatever supermarket you shop at, you know, they all look something like that. Oftentimes <laughs> they're pouring out of your uh, closet or your... Uh, drawer or whatever it is so I take a tissue box you can use a, a gallon milk container you can use a decorative box uh, you just shove them all in there and you'd be surprised how many will fit into something like this uh, so you can downsize into one small tissue box it takes up literally no space at all so yeah, we have uh, you know in my household I've you know learned about this tip and it's been one of honestly you know one of the best things that we kind of came across because instead of having those long bags stuffed with bags, right. you know, we can now have some small tissue boxes and easily get to them when we need to. Right. And right. they're a, ba a bag of bags, a box of bags is <laughs> definitely better than a cabinet or a drawer full. Of and it's hard just to throw those away because you're, you, when, you, when I'm about to do that, I'm like, I'm going to need that for something. Well, I'm always going to need those. We bags. all we all need them. Right. I mean, whether you're, you know, whether you're on dogs, uh, you know, you take a lot of yeah. dog walks, or you know, you line your uh, bathroom um, bathroom uh, garbage liner with them, so they're. They definitely come in handy. Uh, but this is my favorite tip, and um, certainly if, if people are on Pinterest, all of these things, there are a million organizing tips. You know, at Call Sheila, we specialize in downsizing and decluttering because you got to get rid of the stuff before you can organize it. Otherwise, you're just always going to be doing this process. So um, I love socks. These are um, socks from my, my own drawer at home, and people generally, um, you know, roll up their socks. They do this, this 
brutal thing to their <laughs> socks, which is terrible. Um, so if you want to keep your socks as nice as I like to keep mine, you know, you match them up nice like this, and, and then you roll them up and uh, you put them in so that you can see all of the socks that you have. And it doesn't matter if you're the person wearing beige or blue or black or you're wearing really funky socks. You want to be able to see them so you know what you know what's going on with what outfit or do you need a thick pair of socks or do you need a thin pair of socks. Anyway, you can tell I love socks, but in the end, what you end up with is a really cool drawer where you can see all the colors and the things that you uh, want to wear for the day. And I'll be guilty at my house right now. It's just a big old mess, mess of Socks. socks. So <laughs> yeah, and and a lot of mismatched socks. The, I, I've since I started doing this, I, I lose I lose less socks because there's something about socks disappearing that just they just go places. So now at Call Sheila, your yeah. uh, your business, yes, um, you have probably uh, helped uh, you know a, a number of people in the in the area get organized. And I, I think one of the hardest parts, and you kind of mentioned it and touched on it a little earlier. Are those things that you feel like are the things that will end up in that maybe pile? Right, right. And, and that's where it's a good idea to maybe give you a call and to uh, kind of uh, have that third party, mm -hmm. you know, come in and, and uh, look at that maybe pile and, and try to help you yep. make those decisions. Right? Absolutely. I have uh, a number of clients who, when I consulted with them, they said they were going to have a very hard time, but just uh, you know, a hard time letting go of, of right. things, and just by having me there or you know somebody that, that works with me works with call Sheila just by having somebody there to kind of help you interrupt the rabbit hole of of you know of memories and stuff uh, it really does ease um, ease trying to do that by yourself awesome well thank you for uh, stopping by the summer 360 a few, a few uh, good tips easy yeah. tips that anybody can start to do right. uh, as they're pulling out their uh, bank statements uh, to recycle this coming Saturday That's right. and uh, also if you uh, need any more in any uh, further information about call Sheila uh, it's right here on the bottom of the screen and you can feel free to reach out to Sheila with any uh, probably neat ideas or to you know uh, if you have any big projects she can help you out with those too thank you all right so thanks for joining us on the Sunmark 360 don't forget shred day this coming Saturday 1187 Troy Schenectady Road. Uh, come on down between 11 and 1 o'clock and we'll uh, shred everything for you. On, oh, by the way, it is free of charge and you don't have to be a member or bank with Sunmark to come on down. It's for the entire community. So if you have some friends or family that would like to uh, get rid of their, uh, have some of their personal information and have it shredded properly, uh, they're more than welcome to come down and join us. Again, thanks for watching the Sunmark 360 and we will see you next time. Don't forget to follow Sunmark and the Sunmark 360 on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.